On this edition, I'm going to talk about the UFC 148 conference call that happened today. Now, uh, there was obviously there was the UFC 148 conference call had uh, multiple fighters on there, but I think the m most part of what I'm going to touch up on, or just everything I'm going to touch up on, is the words that were exchanged between Anderson Silva and Chael Son. And just to clarify it before anything, really, is that. In sports, it is just as much mental as it is physical. Obviously, talented fighters are very successful, but this is just as much a mental game as it is a physical game. And that's exactly what we saw today. And how it interprets and how it works out in the octagon is going to be the biggest question. Now, what I'd like to say first is that finally, Anderson Silva is hyping this fight, and we've been waiting for this for so long. Because the first fight uh, at UFC 117 was all Chael talking and... Anderson Silva with very, very slim responses back. One-word responses, yes, no, well, who's Chael Sonnen? Just very simple stuff. Today, we got, we, we saw Anderson Silva's true colors about how he truly feels about this. And whether it, Chael Sonnen truly, his words rustled Anderson's fe feathers, or, uh, you know, Anderson Silva is, however he's taking this one, I think it's, that's the most interesting thing right now. So... Anderson Silva comes out in the press conference saying he's going to break Chael's bones, he's going to break his limbs, um, have his, his parents should have taught him respect in the first place. It was just a lot of things. And obviously Anderson Silva has the image of being a sportsman, this very good sport. And I'm not here to bash Anderson Silva at all because in the end, I think with this talk and with this hype, I think we all win. Okay, The fans, um, the promotion, the fighters itself, we all win. This is going to be, not only is this the most highly anticipated rematch in UFC history, but this is also now going to be one of the biggest hype fights of all time, given what had ha what has happened today and what can happen for these next two weeks. These words have been exchanged. It's not like it's the night before the fight, but these could materialize into more words and more things that are going to be said back and forth. There is still plenty of time before this fight, and the hype starts now. Even though the fight, like the fight is in two weeks and the hype has been going on for a long time now. The hype starts now. All this hype that we've really been expecting from Anderson Silva and Chael Son, it starts now. We're going to hear a lot about it. And we do all win. Not only is this going to be a, a very big televised event, but the pay-per-view sales are going to benefit from this. The promotion itself is going to benefit from this. And the fans itself. There is, there is buzz on Twitter and in the social media and the MMA community given um, the, what, is said, what has been said back and forth between Son and Silva today. And, you know, whatever side you pick, I think, you know, it's a, there's a giant divide. There's Son and fans, there's Silva fans. But I think this is exactly what the MMA community needs. This is the camaraderie that we need. Uh, whether it's both negative or positive, we need this, okay? Especially after given the Guida Maynard main event. Obviously, Franklin and Vanderlei Silva was a good fight, but... Given the fights this week, and I think, and with uh, the you know the positive drug tests and all the injuries, this is the type of news and stuff that the MMA community needed. And I think there's a positive spin on this, so I think this is this can only help us. So, uh, where else I wanted to go on this? How does this trash talk and this hype uh, materialize and benefit? How's is, how's is this interpret into the octagon in this fight? I'm gonna mostly just talk about Anderson Silva because we know what Chael Sonnen has done. Chael Sonnen has talked and talked and talked, and he brought it as promised in the last fight. And um, obviously Anderson Silva emerged the victor, but how does this affect Anderson Silva? We haven't really seen this side of Anderson Silva. He doesn't really talk that much before fights, but how does this affect Anderson Silva? It could be viewed from two different ways. One, you could say that Chael Sonnen's words finally got to Anderson Silva. Two years of being provoked. Two years. Not even just two years. The time frame before that, uh, before the first fight that these guys had, it's taken this long for Anderson Silva to finally come out and voice his true opinion about what he wants to do to uh, Chael Sonnen based on what he has said. And you know what? Anderson Silva went right for the throat. And you know what? You know who's complaining about it, really? I mean, am I saying that Anderson Silva's wrong for what he said? No. I mean, the guy's hyping the fight, and he, the guy truly does hate Chael Sonnen. And Chael Sonnen truly does hate Anderson Silva. I'm hoping these two guys can bury the hatchet after the fight, but who knows, given what will happen in the octagon. However, is Chael Sonnen's words truly getting to Anderson Silva? You know, it could very well. I mean, Anderson Silva's never come out like this. He's never come out. He's never voiced this opinion this strongly. I mean, he could have said things in the past, but this is a very strong voicing. We're talking about beating a guy down physically, wanting to harm him and destroy him. And that's exactly what Anderson Silva said today. Not to mention that, he also went after family, saying Chael's parents should have, uh, you know, they, they didn't um, not raise him right, but Chael's son's parents should have taught him respect. You know, he's going for the jugular, and he... He is going to hold nothing back. So this could either mean that, one, Chael Sonnen's words really did get to Anderson Silva, and uh, two, it could also be that, you know, Anderson Silva's really fired up now. We're going to see 
uh, Anderson Silva fired up. And how this will interpret into the octagon, Anderson Silva could very well come out guns blazing. If we watch the first fight, the first fight was very one-sided, obviously until Ch uh, Anderson Silva won the fight, but it was a one-sided beatdown. That's what we saw from Chael Son. He beat Anderson down. However, how is this going to interpret into the octagon? Anderson Silva, in, how I think he's going to take this, I think he's going to come out guns blazing. I think he's going to look for a very... Very strong finish, and he's going to try and get Chael Sonnen down early and say that, you know, this guy's been questioning how I am as a fighter, how I'm, a, I'm not the GOAT, and I'm a coward, and all this other stuff, and I'm faking all this. I think, I think Anderson Silva's going to come out guns blazing and look for a very early finish, something in devastating and impressive fashion. Um, however, though, how can this uh, harm or hurt him? I mean, not harm or hurt him. How could this help or harm him? And help, I think he could come out guns blazing. I think the deeper this one goes, even though Anderson Silva's a threat at any time of the fight, I think if he comes out early and he tries to throw Chael off of his game plan early, I think this could be a, a very good fight for Anderson Silva. However, how can this hurt him? If Anderson Silva comes out aggressive and is fighting with anger and is over-aggressive, it could hurt him. If he's coming in too aggressive, Chael can, he could close the distance and Chael could take him right down to the ground. He could be playing into Chael's mind games. Fighting aggressive is a good thing, but it could sometimes hurt you. Fighting with anger is good, but it can also hurt you as well. You tend to veer away from the game plan or not focusing. You're more focused on knocking that guy out instead of actually executing your game plan. Obviously, we know Anderson Silva's game plan is to finish fights, but if you don't have a clear head, if you're not, uh, not cool during the fight, it could very well hurt you. I'm not saying that it could hurt you every time. It could work out and be successful, but this could hurt um, or help Anderson Silva. How it could help, it's, this is lit the fire under Anderson Silva. He's hungry. He stated it. Maybe he took Chael Sonnen lightly in the first fight. Uh, obviously, he was also injured in that first fight. Fight, But I think we're instead of it being a one-sided beatdown like we saw in that first fight, even though Anderson Silva won, we have ourselves a war now. And I think these words and everything that's been said back and forth, I think that's what we're going to get. I'm not saying that Chael Sonnen can't win this fight, but I think it's going to be a different type of fight. Anderson Silva has a lot riding on this. Chael Sonnen has a lot riding on this. This is going to be a war. Is Chael Sonnen going to get Anderson down the ground? Yeah. Is Anderson Silva going to rock Chael Sonnen? Absolutely. But I don't think this is going to be a one-sided beatdown. Do I still stand by my prediction saying that Chael Sonnen is going to win this fight by decision or submission? Absolutely. Submission being the long shot, obviously. But do I think Chael Sonnen is going to win the fight? Yes. But do I think it's going to be one-sided and it's only going to be one person dictating the fight? No, I don't. I think we're going to get a war and I think when I said we win in the end, we most definitely do. Us as fans, we are going to win in, in the long run this. This is going to be a great fight. It is going to live up to the hype. The hype that was has been generated for a couple of years now, not to mention the hype and the fuel that was added to the fire today. We are going to get ourselves a war. And hopefully we get to see 100% best Anderson Silva and the 100% best Chael Son in the octagon at UFC 148. And that's what I have for this edition. It's Kyle Delaney signing off. I'm out of here.